Hello, I'm Emily Spaven. This is your Week in Tech. We're filming from the Startup Bootcamp IoT Demo Day. I spoke to Raf, who told us more about the event. So in the last three months at Startup Bootcamp IoT Connected Divisive, we've been helping nine teams from five different countries to get to an extraordinary state for their hardware IoT product. It's extremely exciting to see where they are right now. Of course, today is a culmination of that. We have about 500 people showing up to our demo day, which is for a first year extremely satisfying. And you know, we want to see them perform on stage. I can't wait to see what they do. In investment news, health tech startup Atlas Genetics closed a $35 million Series D round. The Wiltshire firm has developed technology that can detect and diagnose sexually transmitted infections. Online mortgage broker Habito raised £5.5 million in Series D funding. Led by Silicon Valley investor Ribbit Capital, the round also drew support from Mosaic Ventures. Pitchero scored a £3.1 million Series A round. Based in Leeds, the startup provides sports organisations with tools to build their own websites. Pay as you drive in SureTech startup Cover raised £1.5 million in a round led by Local Globe. Participating investors also included Techstars Ventures, Seedcamp, and Tecton Ventures. Theresa May revealed the Industrial Strategy Challenge Fund to support UK tech. It's part of the £4.7 billion initiative announced by the Prime Minister back in November. The strategy will focus on backing innovative technologies including AI, robotics and 5G wireless internet. The strategy also promises to boost technical education by providing £170 million of capital funding to create new institutes of technology. Overseas, Verizon's acquisition of Yahoo has been delayed following the two data security breaches recently revealed by the search giant. In addition to a breach in 2014, in December last year, Yahoo admitted an attack which took place in 2013. Consequently, Yahoo said the acquisition deal will now be pushed back to the second quarter of this year. Our download of the week is Flyke. The free app enables users to rate and share their flight experiences. Scores are then tracked by the app so users can search for the highest rated flights and airlines around the world. You can also share your reviews on social media and keep track of exactly how long you've spent in the air. And finally, calling all redheads, Apple is due to host a meeting to discuss adding red-haired characters to the emoji keyboard. This comes after several social media campaigns have demanded ginger emoji. There's no time like the present when it comes to embracing diversity. That's all for this week's episode of The Week in Tech. For more technology news, visit techcitynews.com and subscribe to receive the latest issue of our magazine. This issue focuses on the growing area of health tech.